Welcome to another edition of the Red Run and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, you and I were talking just a minute ago before we got started about how this time of year is bringing around a lot of new listings for you guys. It is, and it's not necessarily the type of the time of year that you think we're going to have tons of new listings. Most people think that that's springtime, mm -hmm. but if you look on the system right now, the start of this fall is really bringing in a lot of new listings, and I think this show will show everybody that exact thing. And the reason she says that is because out of the five listings that we're going to show you, all five of those are brand new. So if you're used to watching the show and sometimes you'll see the same ones pop up, not this time, everything's brand new. Absolutely. All right, well, let's start. And these are all your listings too. They are. Um, so let's start on this one at Sydney. Now this is here in Pike County. It is. If you're familiar with the Sydney area, you're going to go 119 from Pikeville towards uh, the South Williamson area. Mm -hmm. You'll take the Sydney exit and before you get to the turnoff for North Big Creek, before you get to the Bevins Elementary School, mm -hmm. there is a little road that goes off to your left that is Willie Bevins Road. So you are literally in a rock throws distance from 119. And I love the way this one looks because you can tell it kind of sits off to itself just mm -hmm. a little bit. It does. It sits off to itself and you can see there's a couple of the pictures that show more of the land. Mm -hmm. This property has been used as garden space for years and years and years. This is a family property. This is prime garden spot. I've seen it when it was in full garden mode and it is in a very impressive space. So if gardening is what you're looking for, this is the prime property. And then of course you have the house on the on the property. It's a mm -hmm. 1989 double wide. Um, it's a three bedroom, two bathroom, a little over 1100 square feet. Um, it's one, I would probably say that somebody's going to go in and maybe want to replace some carpeting, something mm -hmm. like that. But besides that, it's pretty much a move in ready double wide. And it's sitting on 12 acres of property. So you've got a lot of space on the outside. And like you said, on the inside, You've got room for a family. You've got those two bathrooms uh, that are important to a lot of people and three bedrooms, so a, a lot of space. And then there's also a separate house site that they used to have another mobile home that sat on. So you've got another house site up there as well if you wanted to put another home on it. If you wanted to do a barn or something, you've already got that flat level space. So there are a ton of potentials, and this one is geared more toward the people that like outdoor spaces, because mm -hmm. your garden is already there, you've already got the barn there, not and you're not all. far off of 119, which is, you know, close proximity to the Belfry area, South Williamson, anything that direction, but then you are go the other way and you're in Pikeville in no time. Exactly. It is a great location, right off of 119, very close, and then how do you get three or four acres of flat usable land in Pike County? So that in itself is a big deal. Right. Plus you've got 12 acres, mm -hmm. uh, the double wide, everything that you've got there, all the flat space, and it's under $100,000. 99000 is the asking price for this or the listing price for this one. So Jennifer, let's give your office number okay. uh, in case somebody wants to call about this one. The Pikeville office number is 606-437-2333. All right. Now moving to a ne the next one, like we said, we're going to say brand new listing on all of these because all of these, this is the first time they've been on the show. Now this one is in Pikeville. It is. This is the easiest way to tell people because there's a landmark that's going to make this very easy. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows where Lucas and Son Funeral Home is on 23 south yes. of Pikeville. Directly across the street is Church of Christ Way, and that's where this double wide sits. And that, there's a church that's fairly new construction. Mm -hmm. Ford's Branch um, Church sits right mm -hmm. there as well. Wow. So convenience is going to be a big one on this one, but looking at these pictures, I mean, it's beautiful on the inside. It absolutely is. This is a 2006 double wide, over 1,800 square feet, and this one they did a lot of extras. So you can, the kitchen is fully updated. You have a beautiful corner fireplace in this house. This right. one has a full bath that attaches to the utility room, to the laundry room, which is something oh. that's becoming very, very popular with people, especially with families, because then kids can throw their laundry directly in the laundry room instead mm -hmm. of that throwing it in the floor and it never making it. Yeah, you see the fireplace and we're mm -hmm. getting to that time of year. Actually, lately we've had a few chilly mornings and chilly nights uh, to where that fireplace is going to start looking more and more attractive as the year goes on. 
Absolutely. The fireplace, and that is open to a large living room. It's open to the kitchen. And that is a very popular thing now that mm -hmm. people, they don't like the chopped up rooms as much anymore as they want to walk in and see from one room to the other. Exactly. And this one offers that. So, and the location is great. So this one is one, it's right off US 23, so you could actually drive by and look at this one. Absolutely. Very easily. Okay. Now the price on this one, another attractive price for the location and everything you've got, 129000 mm -hmm. um, So hopefully this one won't be on the market. Hopefully none of these will be on the market very long. <laughs> um, but let's give your email address for anybody who may want to email. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now moving out of the city limits of Pikeville a little bit, let's keep going south on US 23. And this one's in the Virgie area. It is. This one is off of Indian Creek Road. You're about 2.8 miles up Indian Creek and this property will sit to your left. This is a older home. Mm -hmm. It was built in 1959, but it has been updated. It's got a newer kitchen in it. It's been taken really good care of. Mm -hmm. um, newer metal roof. This is one that you get that charming feel, the older house feel, but you don't have to worry about going in and spending tens of thousands of dollars to get it livable or bring it up to date. And in that 1,300 square feet, the amazing thing to me is you have three full-size bedrooms. Mm -hmm. One of them has a walk-in closet that is big enough to use as an office oh, or wow. a nursery or something like that, depending on what the need was. Um, it's got a really nice rear deck. You've got plenty of room if you wanted to do a pool in the back or something like that. Plus, you have a really nice front yard, which you can see from that main front picture. Wow. And then, like you said, let's go back to the location. You're not far off of US 23. Mm -mm. You're very close to the Pikeville area. You're very close to going over Abner Mountain if you have somebody mm -hmm. that works on that side of Floyd County. So again, yeah, great location. Right. And the price on this one, eighty four nine. So, I mean, we're staying in a, in a very affordable rate. I would say a lot of these homes, or at least the first three, that anyone uh, may want to look at, you could do all three of these showings in, in one day. Absolutely. If you're looking in a specific area mm -hmm. or if you're looking in a specific price range just in Pike County, these are three great options that you may want to schedule and we could have somebody do them all in one suite. There you go. Eighty-four <laughs> nine again is the price on that one. One zero nine three one five is that exact MLS listing. Uh, that will get that pulled right up. So let's go back to the Pikeville office one more time. Let's get okay. that phone number. That phone number is 606-437-2333. Okay. On this next one, let's keep moving south on 23. That seems to be the direction we're going. Now this one says Jenkins, Kentucky, but mm -hmm. you just informed me this is technically Pike County. It is. This is that area on Dorton Jenkins Highway mm -hmm. that a lot of them have Jenkins addresses, but they're all still in Pike County. It's kind of that weird multi-county thing. You're going to take Dorton Road, which is 805, mm -hmm. right there at Dorton. Um, you're going to follow it for about a mile and a half. You're going to turn right on Blaze Branch. I will tell you that I actually was up there the other day showing the property and the sign for Blaze Branch is down, but okay. it is almost a, exactly a mile and a half. So if you want to do a drive-by, just keep the mileage on your car and the house sits about four-tenths of a mile up on your left. And this is a beautiful home built in 1999, mm -hmm. so not that old, um, but over 2,200 square feet. Yes, you're over 2,200 square feet, and the great thing about this one, this is a great family house. This is one it has a main floor living room, kitchen, master bedroom is on the first floor, mm -hmm. plus a little dining area. The great thing about it is on the second floor, you have a huge family room. So if you have kids, if you have teenagers, if you want to keep a game room, you could have a pool table, you could do all that kind of stuff on the upstairs floor and not have it interrupting your daily life. So if you like entertaining, mm -hmm. um, and you, I mean, we, we could even do home theater mm -hmm. uh, in that area. So like you said, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, so you know you've got the space for a family and then all this extra space that you can do the the fun things with. Exactly. And then you can see there is a picture of a little girl's room that's mm -hmm. scrolling through. Off of that, you've got a huge walk-in closet plus a little playroom off of it. So it's one of those houses that really has a lot of functionality and a lot of, you know, you could use the playroom as an office or you mm -hmm. could use it as extra storage. It just has a lot of uses for anybody's family. Right. Now that's just the home. We haven't told you yet that it sits on 30 acres. So that's just a bonus on top of this home. And if you see the price on it, you're 
you, the price for the house would be what you're seeing. Now add 30 acres to that and you're really getting a deal. Absolutely. And you actually have 30 acres. There's a lot of it that's actually usable. You have a really nice mm -hmm. yard, but then the rest of it is mostly for privacy. Wow. So, you know, if you like to get out and enjoy nature, doing some hiking or anything like that, this one is going to be right down your alley. And the location, um, close to Letcher County, so you're right on that Pike Letcher line, mm -hmm. so north or south, uh, you're accessible to, to anything in that area. You've got Jenkins, Whitesburg on one side, Pikeville's just a hop, skip, and a jump the other way. So. This one is great for convenience if you're looking for that south side, south extreme southeast Kentucky. Two nineteen nine is the price on this one. So, like we said, you're getting all that home and thirty acres. So, this is one that you may want to give Jennifer a call or shoot her an email and get that uh, showing scheduled. Absolutely. Okay. Now we'll end the show with something that's still a brand new listing, but it's commercial. Um, and like you said, this is a church. It is. So it's kind of commercial. It's kind of... <laughs> yeah. I guess technically you can't call it a home. No, no. It's a little bit um, of a weird classification, but it is considered a commercial building. And it is the old uh, Catholic church in McRoberts, which is in Letcher County. Right. Now, McRoberts is a very one of those close-knit communities, too, where everybody knows everybody, too. So... Um, there's a lot of potential of a, maybe a business or maybe you want to start a church and bringing it into that community. This would be a great place to start. Absolutely. And this is one, like I said, it was a church. So you're a little, a little over 1,600 square feet. Mm -hmm. But most of it is going to be open sanctuary type space. So there's not a lot of walls, not a, anything like that. So anything that you would want to come in you really have almost a blank shell to do whatever you'd want. So if you want to put in apartments, if you want to put in mm -hmm. an office, if you want to you know, use it for a church building, whatever your need would be, you have a good starting point. Wow, my mind is going with so many you know, possibilities for this one. And it looks like it's sitting on some flat property. So you've got some space on the outside too. It is. You're right around three quarters of an acre mm -hmm. and it is pretty much all flat. So it's on a, on a great little lot right there and you do have access um, right off that main road that goes through McRoberts. Right. Now this one is you have to go through Fleming Neon. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple other ways to get there too, but going through Fleming Neon is much easier. Is the easiest way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll actually pass Fleming Neon the high school and you'll keep on trucking as you go into McRoberts and this property will come up on your left. So if you're looking at expanding your business into Letcher County, into the McRoberts community, this would be great for that. If you're looking at, you know, maybe doing a satellite church. I mean, mm -hmm. there's so many things that could be done in this in this building. Um, probably so many more things once they stand inside and look will come to their head too. Absolutely. And it's one, like I said, it could have about any use. So if you have a need for a property in McRoberts, this is a great mm -hmm. one to look at. And then the price. Normally when you say commercial, I mean you're looking at way upwards of, of maybe even a hundred thousand dollars for something similar to this. Mm -hmm. It's forty one thousand five hundred. Forty one five for this property and the land that it's on. So if you were thinking, eh, before, you may be going, wait, now that's doable. Exactly. It's a great price on this property, so definitely give us a call. All right, let's get that number one more time. Okay, 606-437-2333. Okay, now that wraps up the five new listings that we've got today, but always check out the, their website, rbandw.com. You'll be able to see everything that they offer and then get going from there. Sounds All good. right, I'm going to step out and let Jennifer do her real estate minute. Are you ready to buy your first starter home, your lifetime dream home, or downsize your current home? This is the perfect time to call.